I'm Steve Smith, and this is what I call my swing door jewelry box. This particular wood on this one is Bubinga, a wood from Africa. It's one of my best selling woods. It's very hard and very dense, and it's distantly related to mahogany. The doors on it are uh, box jointed, and I do that for strength. Plus, it does have a decorative value to it, the contrasting corners or end joints show through on both sides. The side door in this one comes out, and there are nine hooks on the side with a tray in the bottom so that they don't hang down below the door and get caught on the base. Um, you can put your pendant in there and still hang longer necklaces. The drawers are a spalted maple burl, and this is solid wood, it's not a veneer. And if you'll notice, I've book matched them. This piece was solid to this point. I split down through the center and then opened it up like a book, so it's a mirror image of itself. This gives continuity a decorative value and uh, kind of makes the eye go back and forth on it so it's really uh, a nice feature. It's, I, I can't do it all the time but I try to when I can. The drawers all have stops on them. You can pull them out without pulling them all the way out so you can access the back ones. Okay, These come out so you can have bigger cubes or you can take them all the way out. They just interlock like this. They are snug, but that's good. The top drawer does not have a stop on it, so when you take it out, you can get the small pendants or small charms or post earrings out a little easier. Sometimes as we age, our fingers don't get into the small cubes quite as easy, so that's one of my features. You can tell here that this is not veneer, that is a solid burl on the front. When I use veneers, there's nothing wrong with them, but I'll tell you if I have veneers in it. And that's my swing door box.